Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here to make a quick video with an update to my current note-taking system. I find value in uh, taking notes in the Bible in my daily devotions and through sermons, um, teaching, etc. Um, now in the past, I did upload a video maybe three years ago showing off the system that I used previous um, with my large print compact ESV. It's basically like creating a visual index at the corner of the pages so I could flip to the note on the page to see, you know, what it was that I specifically um, was uh, notating. Uh, I guess this is like an update as far as like what I have been doing since then because I didn't continue with that. I just did not find it to be practical or helpful or realistic that I would ever reference those um, notes again, um, <laughs> to be quite honest. And so uh, I used that Bible primarily when I was in college and since I've graduated, um, I now use the ESV Legacy. I was uh, gifted this um, from a friend when I graduated, and um, yeah, I always had my eye on it because it has such wide margins, right? It's like the perfect note-taking Bible. Well, it's also that beautiful like Renaissance ideal of the ESV Legacy. Um, my only gripe with this Bible is that it's maybe, and maybe this is picky, but it's just so big to carry around, <laughs> right? Kind of a bummer. Um, I love the format, but it's also just like cumbersome at times to hold. Um, now, just to show really um, what this system is about and, and the how this is different than my previous system, really it's just color-coded based upon year. So over time, it's able to track my notes based upon the year that it was. So I got this in, yeah, 2020. January 2020 looks like so everything prior to um, actually having this Bible, I guess I transferred everything in brown. Um, and then starting in 2020, I would take notes in green, then tan, dark blue, and then this year for 2023 is burgundy. So it just helps me to kind of track, not my progress, right? But it just it's just interesting to, to know when it was that I had specific insights as I go through the scriptures. Um, Right, and so in some spaces here, you'll notice that this was green, so this was all in 2020. But then I ended up reading this passage again in 2021, and apparently I even I added a little addendum to it and happened to circle a couple things that stuck out from my previous notes, right? So it's kind of just, I think it's, it's interesting to see your previous notes and then intertwine new notes with those old notes. Um, now, why do I have two ESVs? It's so that, well, I can have one copy that I'm able to take notes in and use it kind of as my beater version of the Bible, and then also still have one that I can read with fresh eyes without any, um, you know, distractions in the text, because I think there's value to both seeing your old notes on the page and also, you know, seeing it with fresh eyes. So especially here, like in Ephesians, I mean, I did some, you know, I, I did some, some hard work um, with some of these passages, but that could certainly be very distracting if I just wanted to read it or if I was teaching it again I might want to start from scratch rather than just picking up my old notes so um, that's the benefit of then having an empty blank version of that Bible that I can uh, read the same passage and even have things on the same exact page without the notes so maybe that's crazy but you know I see real value to having two copies of the same Bible one for note-taking and one uh, that's blank. Now, I'm curious to know, I guess, if anyone else out there does this same thing or not. Um, let me know in the comments. I, I'm, you know, always encouraged and inspired uh, when I read people's comments on, you know, how their personal devotion life is and what they're doing for as far as their note-taking systems. Honestly, if you're here watching this kind of video on YouTube, you probably feel the same way. It's encouraging to just see other people's Bibles and see how different people interact with the Word of God. Um, so yeah, please do share in the comments below. Um, yeah, hope this was helpful. Maybe it'll inspire you uh, to get another copy of your Bible. <laughs> All right, take care.